Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is another weekly vlog. It's currently August 29th. It's Sunday. It's like 4.30. I just signed off for last week's vlog. And yes, I do have my glasses on today. These are my new ones that I got from Warby Parker. And they're actually like a little bit, they are clear, but they're like a little bit rose colored kind of. I really love them. And I'm liking like actually being able to see out of my glasses. Um, but it's just been like a very chill Sunday. I haven't really done much. I basically just got back from doing a grocery haul and I was at Ryan's all weekend and we were helping his brother. He just moved in with them and we just went and did some like home decor shopping and kind of fixed up the place a little bit. Um, so that's really like what we did this weekend, but today didn't really do much. Um, ordered some coffee and like breakfast sandwiches this morning, watched a little bit of Netflix stuff um, and then I left. So did not do a lot, definitely slept in. It was a really nice lazy Sunday. But I have a bunch of stuff like on the ground I need to unpack from my bag this weekend and then do a workout later. Um, and then I think I'm going to shower and film a few videos real quick. I need to do my um, ending of my summer project Use It Up. So excited to get started on the fall one. I'm honestly not. This is weird because usually in August, actually by July, I am ready for fall scents. But right now... I'm really not in the mood for fall scents just yet and I think it's because I've been doing a lot of stuff outside and it's literally 98, 99 here in Texas every day so I'm sweating my my ASS off. Oops. <laughs> um, I'm sweating so hardcore outside every day that I, I just don't even feel like ready for fall yet which is odd. Usually I'm ready by July but I'm not ready for it yet so I think the fall project Use It Up is just going to be a continuation of summer stuff with a few fall things included because um, I'm really not quite ready yet for super like fall pumpkin stuff um, but I will incorporate a few things so I'm going to finish off my summer project Use It Up today, um, start my uh, fall project Use It Up for my body care. I'm also going to um, do an update to my candle project Use It Up which is a project, it's called Project Wax technically. Um, which I do want to update and add a few more candles to it because I want to finish off some of my like summer scents um, and get ready for fall and I have actually a lot of fall candles that I saved from last year for this year that I want to get through in order to buy more new candles that are coming in this year so I need to film those videos I'm also gonna um, do some fake nails today I'm excited I've never really worn um, like acrylics or anything like that I wore fake nails one year like press-ons for Halloween and I really liked how they looked um, I like how fake nails look I just can't commit to that and also I am a scalp scratcher I am a picker like that is like my sensory thing is like picking my skin picking my scalp I also just have a dry scalp anyway so it doesn't help um, but that I'm a picker so I'm like kind of scared of having acrylics and like being able to pick very easily with long nails. I'm like even where my nails are right now are almost too long for my liking. Um, so I'm a little scared so that's why I just want to commit and see, not commit, I want to not commit and see how the like press on nails will do. Um, it, they do come with the glue to glue them down so I'm going to try that today and see if I like them and see how long they stay. So wish me luck, I'll update you guys when I have them done. Um, but for now, I'm going to put on a few YouTube videos and catch up from this weekend and unpack my bags and unpack my haulage from this this last week's vlog. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on all that and I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it's actually now Tuesday night, the 31st of August and I'm about to edit the video for Thursday, but I wanted to show you the nails. So I actually did them Sunday night. So I've had them on for two days now and I think they look really good. So I'm gonna actually put the camera around and show you, but this is just like a look from afar. I got, they're like almond shape. They're from the brand Glamnetic in the style Madam, M-A-D-A-M. Um, but I'll show you um, flip side on the other way around because the camera on the back side of my phone is way better. Okay, here's a close up. So. The left hand was the first hand that I did and I've never used press on nails before. So don't judge how far I got this from the cuticle because I really didn't know what I was doing. The pinky actually looks pretty good. 
um, but they kind of didn't fit my fingers all the way, um, which is to be expected, I guess, but like right here, I guess I didn't file my nail, my nail down long enough. See, like the square part of my nail is still visible, but you can't tell from like the front. So it's totally fine. They look really, really cute. And then actually last night I stubbed my thumb on the um, kitchen cabinet, like in the pantry. So it did create this like crease on it, which is really sad. And then also like, okay, so I got some nail glue on top of the nail. And so I tried to wipe it off with acetone and then it kind of like peeled off the top layer of the nail. So I don't know what that's about, but I guess I shouldn't be doing that. And there's lots of bubbles because like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but this finger looks really good. <laughs> so, and also this one's cro crooked. <laughs> you can really tell when I do it like this, this one's crooked. So, but you know, it looks pretty good. And honestly, they were, how much were they? Wait, let me go look. They were literally 15 bucks and it came with a cuticle pusher and the, um, the nail glue and tons of different sizes. I just, I guess have a weird shape, size, whatever fingernail. Um, but I think they're really cute for 15 bucks. So they were $14.99 on Amazon and yeah, I don't know. I like them. I might start wearing fake nails. I might start because I feel like a boss. Bitch. I feel boss lady, boss vibes. I don't know. I just like them. And then I keep doing like this little sound thing. Like, oh, I just I really like them being clicky. And yeah, so I'll update you guys like how long they last. I want to try and like test them and see how long, but I've literally already bought two other pairs of fake nails on Amazon. And I plan on buying some for like fall with different like fall designs from Etsy soon. So we shall see but yeah that's the update for tonight i'm gonna go edit this video and do my hair and call it a night so i'll see you guys later it's currently Saturday September 4th it is like 6 30 actually the first LSU football game of the season is tonight at 7 30 so I am rocking my purple purple and gold but just purple today um and I'm about to actually take some photos for my mom for the new Mary Kay fall line of uh, matte and shine lip sets so I'm waiting for this matte one to dry so I figured while I wait I have a lot of stuff to haul for you guys I was bad okay and I went to Aldi during lunch one day at work and I got some Aldi candles so I have a haul of Aldi candles I did participate in the um free gift of the like white pumpkin candle from Bath and Body Works the other day and I also redeemed a reward so I have an order from Bath and Body Works and then I also got quite a few things on Amazon that I'll show you as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, actually I put the pink lipstick on now, um, but the first one I was wearing is called Cinnamon and now this one is called Rose Pink or Rosé. So I think it's actually really pretty. I don't usually like pink lipsticks, but okay, I'm gonna start with Bath and Body Works because I'm so excited for what I got. Okay. So the first thing I redeemed a reward to get a free body care item and that is pumpkin cupcake. I'm so excited, look how cute it is. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know why they did it blue, but I kind of don't mind it. Um, the scent notes are whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cake batter. I did smell it already. It smells really good. It smells like super bakery, like buttercream almost. 
I don't get too much spice, but maybe I'll have to wear it to get the spice. But so far, I'm liking it. So I'll definitely do a review on this though, because I feel like it's kind of like it's a unique scent and it's online only, so you can't even smell it in stores if you wanted to. But um, and then I did say so I ordered online whenever candles were ten dollars off or I don't even remember. I think they were fifteen fifty is what I got this candle, the price of this candle for. And that is toasted vanilla chai. So, okay, let's take a second for this packaging. It's so cute. I think it actually is a luminary, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that the white ones right here are luminaries and then the gold ones aren't. So very exciting that it's like another luminary candle. I think it's so pretty. This is an online, oh, it literally says right here, look, scented luminary candle. I never knew they did that. Hmm. It is a white barn candle. Um, and what was I going to say about it? Oh, it's an online exclusive and toasted vanilla chai is actually, I am addicted to the soap version of toasted vanilla chai. Okay. I'm an addict. I will let you know right now. And that started, that addiction started in 2019, um, with the hand soap or maybe yeah, 20 fall of 2019 or winter of 2019. Maybe, maybe it's 2020. I don't know you guys. I'm all over the place today. Um, but my addiction to it started with a hand soap. I'm pretty sure it was 2019. Um, and I have gotten the hand soap every single year. I got backups of it. I love it. I die for it. It is so yummy. It is like a spicy vanilla. It's so good. It's like so simple, but so sophisticated and I love it. So they did have it in the candle, I believe in like 2016 or maybe earlier than that, but I never got to try it and it didn't come back until just now. And so the scent notes are herbal chai, toasted vanilla bean, and marshmallow. So I'm going to smell it. I've already smelled it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was too excited. I do have the hand soap still actually. So I might do a, a review of this candle, like a video review, comparing it to the hand soap and see if it smells like it. I'm pretty sure it does to me though. I've already heard really good reviews. That's, oh, it's like a spicy vanilla. It's so good. This scent um, actually got me to try chai tea for the first time and I am addicted to it. Also, let me tell you, get a chai tea from, or a chai latte from Starbucks and get the pumpkin cream cold foam on top. It's so good. So anyways, got this candle. I, I had wanted this for a while anyways, but the deal was going that if you paid, I think, no, with any order, any order at all, you got a free candle. And the free candle was only in the white pumpkin scent in this packaging. So look how cute this packaging is though. Can we take a moment? Like, I think it's beautiful. I love this line with the like gilded pumpkins. I just think it's so cute. This is another white barn candle. And I had one in white pumpkin anyways in a different packaging form because I smelled it in stores, but white pumpkin is ginger, white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. I think this is definitely more of an October, November scent once it's actually cold, but it's, it's a beautiful, spicy, but like simple. I don't know. I think it is like very, a watered down pumpkin-y scent. Like it's not too pumpkin-y. Like I even almost think my mom wouldn't mind this. But it does kind of smell like Hobby Lobby. It kind of reminds me of Hobby Lobby. And so I got these two. I'm so excited about them. So that's those two. And then I did go in Aldi and get some candles. So these are actually from last week's set of Aldi candles. Um, I do watch Kimball here on YouTube and she goes to Aldi pretty much every week to review all the Aldi candles and purchase them or not and just show us around. Um, so I'm pretty sure these are from last week, but I did pick up a fall flannel shirt and this is a three wick and I believe it was $4. I think it was $3.99 and literally it smells like, it smells like mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. I hope these perform well. I've heard good things about these Aldi candles before, but I've actually never owned one. I'm really hoping that this performs well because I'm so excited. If it's a mahogany teak wood dupe, that would be so cool. Um, and then I also picked up pumpkin apple fritter. So adorable with the little label. I just think it's really cute. Even my mom liked this one. It is like a little bit apple-y, not as much pumpkin-y. It's almost pumpkin apple, but with a slight like frosting or bakery vibe. That one will be fun to try. And then I did pick up two from this week's collection in the Woodwick ones. So this one is toasted pumpkin marshmallow and I actually already did burn it. 
So here's what the like wig looks like. I burned it for, oh look, it's like definitely darker wax now too. The wax is white on the outside and dark now on the inside. I think that's just because of the wood wick probably. But this one smells kind of like white pumpkin a little bit. Um, it was not too strong, but it was nice and like warm and um, the marshmallow was really yummy. I like marshmallow scents a lot. They're really good. So this one so far, so good. And then the other one I picked up is Citrus Clove. My mom smelled this and was like, no, you're burning this in your room only because it's very spicy. Yeah. It's literally like just spice, straight spice with a little bit of citrus. So very excited about Woodwick so because I've never tried a Woodwick candle. The brand is Timberwick. It's not like the brand Woodwick, but it does have a Woodwick on the inside and it sounds really cool. So that's everything for the Aldi haul. And then we're gonna get into an Amazon haul that I did. So I showed you guys the nails that I did this week, which are just press on nails from Glam Neve, Glam, whatever. Um, by the way, the thumbs kept popping off. They've popped off probably five times in the last five days. Um, also my pointer finger popped off, but I don't really mind it that much. I've had, a, had them on for six days now. I put them on on Monday and, I'm, and it's Saturday. So I kind of don't really mind that they popped off a little bit. I think they're really pretty. Um, definitely simple, but I think I would rather purchase some from Etsy and get, you can change the nail color right here to like match your skin tone a little more. So I think I will be doing that in the future instead of getting like regular ones that just come with a standard color. Cause also if you have a dark skin tone, this is not going to look good on you. Like, you know, it's not going to fit everybody. It's way too pinky. So it kind of, you can tell that they're not like actually acrylics, but from afar, like you really can't tell but up close you definitely can tell. So I think I will be getting some from Etsy that are colored a little differently so they match me a little better. But anyways, I did pick up two sets from Amazon because I just wanted to see what they had and I wanted some fall nails. So I did pick up this nail collection brand designer nails in, it literally doesn't say anything about them, but here's what they look like. They are a like burgundy, not burgundy, what color is this? Like rust almost, yeah, they're rust. And then they have a brown accent nail and then some of them have like little um, sparkly stripes on them. So I figured actually with the acrylics, not acrylics, uh, press on nails, if I'm going to keep doing it, then I'm going to get ones that have designs on them because there's no point in getting fake nails um, that are just like a straight color because I could just paint my own nails or I could get just like the basic clear um, nail press on nails and then paint them myself. So, you know, why would I do that? So I will only be getting ones with like cool designs or French tips because I can't do my own French tips. I can, but it never looks that good. So, um, but yeah, so I got these for design. I will probably be putting these on next. And then I found some Halloween ones. So this is the Magic Fingertips brand. I'll try to put these linked down below if you're interested. Um, but okay, so they're actually upside down in the packaging, but look, they're little ghosts and pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns so stinking cute okay I'm trying to like yeah so they're really cute and they have a lot of sizes like up here on the top they have actually a lot of sizes so I think I will save these for like actually Halloween day though because they're super long like compared to my nails see how long that is so they're like really really long and pointy and I don't actually want to file down like pumpkin face where it's pointy or anything I can't really file down right here either because there's still a design right here so I think I'll save these for like actually Halloween day, but they're so cute. I just could not pass up on them. Okay. And then I did a big impulse purchase because I was at work and I've been looking for headphones for a long time, like over the ear sound, um, soundproofing or sorry, noise canceling headphones. Cause I have, uh, AirPods pro, I have pro AirPods, whatever. Um, and they do noise canceling pretty well, but not like amazing. Um, and sometimes I forget them at work or I forget them at home and I use them to work out as well. So it's like, if I forget them, then it's bad. And yeah, so I figured I would get some that I'm going to leave at work. They're only for that and maybe for traveling and stuff too, but some over the ear headphones that I can leave on. And so I picked up the Sony WH-1000X M4, I don't know what any of this means, headphones. Oh my God, they were like $350. <laughs> so yeah, 
but um, I'm gonna open them right now because they just came in today. So I haven't even like looked at them yet, but they come in this cool carrying case. I did get them in like, it's like a beige color. I just thought it looked really cute. Instead of just getting black or silver, I think were the options. I wanted to get this one because it looks really cool. <gasps> oh, these are so cute. Is this the beige color though? Because this is the, maybe it's the beige? I'm gonna have to check because I don't know, but while they're, <gasps> oh my God, I can't hear you at all. <laughs> I look so stupid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but yeah, um, that was already kind of noise canceling and they're not even on. So, and they twist and turn, I don't know, this is so cool. So I'm gonna set these up. I'll update you guys next week in the vlog um, about how they go. Oh, I just hit myself in the nose. Um, how they work and stuff. I don't even know how they, oh. Okay, I didn't, okay. I didn't know they were supposed to do all this stuff and like fold like that. Okay, anyways. So very excited to play with those. <laughs> I will set them up before work, but I do have Monday off still because it's Labor Day. So I'm really excited to have Monday off. So happy having a long weekend is really needed. Um, going into fall now, I'm like trying to decorate our house as well. So I think today and tomorrow I'm gonna use to decorate downstairs in the kitchen and the dining room and just like overall. So we'll be doing that maybe during the LSU football game, um, which is in like 10 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna go make a pizza. Um, but I will say, so you saw um, footage from Friday night and Saturday today, like morning-ish. So last night I went over to Ryan's and we went to go to the drive-in movie, which is my favorite little drive-in movie in Houston. And we saw Shang-Chi. And so we wanted to do a drive-in because it's like better than, it's still social distance, like you're in your own car. But pretty much half the movie is like dark or at night, nighttime scenes, and you couldn't really even see what was going on. Um, but we loved the movie, it's, it's so good. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but you definitely need to go see it, it's so good. The, like the, the actors and the characters are amazing. The story is amazing but the fight scenes are something else. Like, I don't even like action movies. I don't even like fight scenes. And this was like, really had me engaged. So you definitely need to go see it. But yeah, we watched it at the drive-in movie and we were like, yeah, this, I don't know about this. Maybe we should go see it again. <laughs> so we, okay, well, so during the drive-in, we went and picked up Mexican food and ate it at the drive-in too, which was like a really nice perk as well. You just brought your own food. Um, but today, earlier today, we went to like one of the um, <clears throat> movie theaters where you sit down and eat um, while we watch the movie. So we ate lunch and we watched the movie again and it was really great. Honestly, I'm really happy that we watched it again in theaters because it made such a difference. Um, we did go to like, so the ones that you sit at, it's like your own little like two seater and you have some space in between you. So at least that and we kept our mask on if we weren't eating. So. It, the movie theater was also like not full at all. I was really surprised. So, um, but yeah, Shang-Chi was awesome. You guys need to go see it. That's the verdict. Um, but I'm gonna go make my pizza and watch the LSU football game and maybe do some fall decor. Um, and I will see you guys later. And if I don't see you later, then I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next video.